So I've been wanting to make a pizza dough batch that's made half with biga and half with poolish. So this is my first attempt at it. And this is how I sort of foresee it happening. Crank up our pizza app. And what I've programmed is four dough balls at 250. Because of the math, we have to use 75% hydration. Two hours at room temperature, it's uh, 20 degrees Celsius where I'm at in the fridge 18 hours at uh, 3 degrees active dry yeast. Our recipe is 562 grams of flour, 421 grams of water, 17 grams of salt, and 3.6 grams of yeast, let's say. So this is how I uh, foresee it happening. Our flour is going to be split in two. So half will go to the biga and half will go to the, pot, the poolish, which automatically dictates that half of the yeast will be split as well between the biga and the poolish. Poolish requires an equal amount of flour as water. So these two numbers are equal and 100% of the flour is in water, whereas biga is half of the weight of the flour is water. So that is what dictates our 75% hydration by just by math. So, and then of course, salt comes on day two. So we're gonna use the bulk of our ingredients between the biga and the poolish, namely water, flour, and yeast. And then to close the dough, we'll put in our 17 grams of salt. Sorry. I suspect we're going to have to use some extra virgin olive oil, like about 15 ml of uh, extra virgin olive oil to amalgamate this, plus or minus any other water that we add. So this is how we're going to do it. Half the flour for biga, half the flour for poolish, the requisite amount of water for each, and splitting the, the yeast between uh, biga and poolish, and then the rest comes on our closure. And now to make our poolish flour and the butterfly attachment for the KitchenAid. Dissolve the yeast inside of the water. Add the water. Move this so you can see what's going on. This process shouldn't take more than two minutes. We're just looking for a, a consistency with no bubbles or uh, non absorbed flour, but it's very creamy. It's basically, it's a creamy mixture. And this poolish is done. Make sure the bowl is as clean as possible. Make sure everything's been absorbed. You see how it sort of rides up on the edge? We're just going to clean it all up. And then we're going to seal this with plastic wrap, including an elastic to keep it taut. And then we leave it at room temperature for an hour. And after one hour at room temperature, it's ready to go into the fridge overnight. I like to put an elastic on. So 
So there's the Biga and the Poolish. And let those sit at room temperature for one hour. And then they're going to go into the fridge overnight. So here's what the poolish looks like. Very liquidy, Got some good bubbling. And here's what our biga looks like. Biga is 19. The poolish is around 26. This poolish was in the oven with just the oven light on. So I'm going to set this up in the KitchenAid. I'm going to break this up separately into smaller pieces. And with the dough hook, We'll uh, combine the two, adding only 17 grams of salt, a little bit of water from a spray bottle, and up to, say, a teaspoon, tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We'll let the KitchenAid do the work. This looks about amalgamated enough to add our salt and a bit more water to make sure that our salt gets absorbed. break when this approaches 22 degrees and we are at 23. So with the dough pulling itself away from the stainless steel and the correct temperature, we can stop and let it rest for 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes has passed. You see that the dough is kind of relaxed. We're going to give this a couple of turns until it pulls itself again away from the stainless steel bowl and then we're going to transfer it to a work surface, oil up our hands and do some reinforcing folds and let it rest again. So let's turn this on and detach it from the bowl. Let it mix just another second till it balls up and pulls away from the bowl. There it is. All right, so it's balled up. We're going to oil our hands and transfer this to the bowl, to the work surface. Transfer this to the surface. These, I'm going to get a little more oil here. 
This is called a reinforcing fold. Attach it, let it slap, fall over onto itself. Okay. This is starting to smooth up. We're going to let this rest again for another 10 minutes. Covered. So we're ready for another set of reinforcing folds. Oil up our hands. 10 minutes has passed since we let this rest. It's already softer. This is our technique. Detach it from the work surface. Lift, slap, and fold. Lift, slap, and fold. This feels really soft. It's looking good. We do a couple more folds. So what I do, I use a tray, a little bit of olive oil, transfer our dough to our tray, then I put it in an oven with just the light on because my room temperature is around 20-21 degrees where I'm at right now. So nothing's going to happen at that temperature. Out the back bar. And so we use the uh, the oven with just the light on to help us get over the hump. And we're going to leave it in there for an hour, covered with a bit of oil, plastic film, I use a tea towel just to keep everything tight. We're going to leave this in the oven with just the light on for one hour and then we'll ball it up and let it rise for another two hours, two and a half hours. So just the light on in the oven. Back in an hour. Okay, so it's been an hour the oven with just the light on and the dough is 20 27 degrees double up in size we're ready to ball this up got some semolina flour semolina flour is our friend for this scale A little bit to work with. And to the extent that we can, we always try and keep the top of the dough on the top of our ball. So I put the top down. Two hundred and sixty-five grams. So this was the top, which we'll put on the bottom. And this is really well hydrated. Seventy-five percent hydration is a uh, very well hydrated dough, and we can work with that easily using a bit of semolina. That's what it looks like. Got my tray here. The 
These have been in the oven for one hour, just the light on. I'm going to leave them on the counter now for another hour. My room temperature is around 21 degrees centigrade, so the dough is doing its thing at around 23 and up. This is 26. So that's the dough after a couple of hours. Thank you.